Voice mailboxes in VTDAO. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a voice mailbox using VTDAO. And we'll start by going into the administration section of VTDAO, of course. Um, there are really two ways to create voice mailboxes. You can create an independent, standalone voice mailbox by going to admin and voicemail. Or you can create a voicemail box off of one of your existing extensions. So I'll show you both, uh, but let's start with the independent voicemail box. So, so basically, uh, you go to admin and go to voicemail, and as you see, there's no voicemail boxes here, and so we'll just go to add new voicemail entry. You can create a box number, any number you'd like. Um, let's say voicemail box 1000. Um, password uh, one two three four five uh, you want to make a password numeric because um, you have to be able to punch it in you know, once you trying to retrieve your voicemail messages your name I could say well Robert Wilson uh, it needs to be active and email you, this VTDAO system will email you your voicemail messages so let's put that in here so I'll say Robert at etofree.net and hit submit. Boom, there you have it. It's uh, uh, here, it, here's my voicemail box. It's 1000 Robert Wilson. My email address is active. Delete after email. I always select yes for that. Uh, you don't want your your reach it out system to, to hold too much information because it could cause it to crash if you have way too many voicemail box and recordings so I'm always cognizant about keeping um, the system clean of any unnecessary data so deleting your voicemails out the email is really a good thing especially if you are getting your voicemails through email and hit submit and that voicemail box is now active all right, now let me show you how to configure a voicemail using an existing extension. And to do that, what we're going to do is go to phones, and we're going to go to an extension that we already have, which is a uh, SA6000. There's only a few options you have to configure here, and it's very simple. Just have to make sure that your voicemail box has a number in it, which for my extension 6000, the voicemail box is 6000. And here on the login password is the password that you're going to use to access your voicemail box. Make sure that this login password doesn't have any um, if you doesn't have any uh, alphanumeric characters in it because uh, you won't be able to access it using the touch tone phone. So as you see here, we have one two three three as the password. Alrighty. Um, also again here's the email address if you want to get your emails sent to you if you want to get your voicemail sent to you through your email and here's uh, where you can delete it of course afterwards and just save it okay now that is done let's go ahead and test it real quick so I've got my cell phone up here alright and first we're just going to make a sample test message so I'm going to dial my own extension from my cell phone. I'm going to call it. And I'm going to, as you see here, I got two calls, one going out and one coming in. I'm going to go ahead and decline it. The person at extension 6000. Hello, this is a test message. Thank you. Thank you. And as you can see, I've created a um, voicemail a test message and here we have a email that just came in from the system if you click here hello this is a test message thank you all right that's enough for that all right and if you want to check your voicemails from your extension dial 8500 Median mail mailbox value extension number password you have no messages press 2 to change folders 
Now, of course, it says you have no messages because um, it deleted the the voicemail after it emailed it to me, which is good. So if you change that to no, of course, you can retrieve your your voicemails by dialing your password. Alrighty, and that's it. Thank you very much.